Hello everyone, I'm going to show you a few tricks to use with this glorious application called InnoReader. So let's take a look here. Um, I'm all about uh, being able to subscribe and curate my own feed of information, but it's sometimes tiring when you have to go and, and hit up all the sites and sometimes you just want to read quickly. So here it is, InnoReader. Um, what you do is, I'm going to click on the little menu in the upper left corner, the little hamburger three line menu. And um, there's a list of subscriptions. You can see at the top of the screen here. I have all of my subscriptions. I'm going to delete one of them right now, which is my own. I long press on it and I can unsubscribe. There we go. So now that's gone missing from the list. If I want to add a subscription, um, you hit the little plus sign next to the word subscription. Now it lists a ton of different stuff in this catalog, which is really cool, but I want a tighter curated list than that. I have subscriptions I care about. So I'm gonna slip over here to Facebook, uh, to Firefox, Facebook, what am I saying? And um, here's my blog. And so I'm writing about all kind of crazy stuff. Let's say I wanna read about Jekyll here. Um, I might wanna go down here and read an article. Well, let's say I want this in my feed, right? So most um, websites, if you go back to sort of the root address of the site, which in my case was enginepost.com, go back there. Uh, what you can do usually, um, if it has a feed, you can write the word feed after it, not all the time, but a lot of times. And um, if you go there, it will show you that there's like a feed of information and a feed is basically just like a data file format a real simple syndicate rss feed or atom or something like that that um that will show you information so my, my blog is a little different i'm trying to get this to work the way i want it to but um if i just add the word dot xml at the end of the word feed you can see that um there's my feed so it shows you know all the different posts i have I've made and um, so now I'm just gonna go up here to the URL again and long select this and now I can copy that address so again if there are different blogs that you follow maybe you will just want to know when they're new you know and um, you want to read them so I'm gonna go back to inner reader and from inner reader in the upper right corner there's a white box with a arrow pointing down into it so if you click that now you can subscribe to that feed straight from the URL. Since I copied it, I'm gonna long press here and hit paste. And there's that little subscribe link. So I'm gonna hit subscribe. Now at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice it says successfully subscribed. And now if I go back to my list, at the bottom here of the list, you'll see my little engine post logo in blue. It says there's 10 articles. So if I click that, it will now go pull those articles and it'll load those little images. This is called the magazine view. So notice a couple things here. In the upper left, it says 10 on red. Then there's an eyeball to the right of that. If I click the eyeball, I can say, show me the oldest first to the newest first. Um, all the articles, only the unread ones, the starred ones only. You know, you can flip this at any time. So if you like star them, um, which is nice. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, then you could come back and hit start only and just go back and find the ones that you really like. It's kind of like almost makes it a Pinterest kind of thing. Um, but at the, on the list here, a little lower, whoops, um, you can see um, these three different views. So list view is more like just a clean, quick view of the titles. Let me hit the eyeball again. But if you go to magazine view, that's what we were just looking at. It will show those little thumbnail images and just a little tiny blur about what's going on in the article. And then finally you have card view and card view is really where you wanna be able to sort of star things and, and favorite them. And so the idea here is you get sort of this bigger set of cards that basically say, well, here's the article. Here's how long ago we downloaded it for you. Here's the central image to the article. And then at any point you can star things. So let's star these two. So if I go back to the list of filters, I can say start only, and it will just show me those two from this list. Um, and then I can go back quickly and just say, yeah, show me all articles. And it'll show me everything. So now I can unstar those, because I don't really want to star them, and I prefer magazine view. 
Another nice trick is if you've read everything that you want to read and you're not really interested in reading any of the other articles that are currently curated into your list, there's this little blue circle on the lower right with a check mark. And if you hit that, it'll mark everything is read. If you quickly hit undo, which I'm going to do now, it will un unread them, but it will literally un unread everything on the list. And so if, you know, it's, it's a nice nuclear way to sort of say, okay, everything that I want to read from this currently curated blog here that I've subscribed to, I'm up to date on it. So only notify me when there's something that's truly new, not something that I just haven't read yet that I've already looked at the title for it. So that's kind of a nice way to quickly sort of, uh, kind of clean up your subscriptions. Because if you notice here, if I look at the top of the list here, it says all articles. It says there are 92. That's that's kind of noisy. If you ask me, it's a lot of articles. If I go there, it's going to show me everything across all of my subscriptions, uh, including some of the sites here I subscribe to don't even have cover images. So that's totally cool. I still prefer the sort of the magazine view. But um, it's just a nice way to, to sort of know if something is is truly of interest to you and actually new um, versus it's been in your feed but you're just not really interested in listening to it or looking at it or reading it or thinking it's something extra new and so again that's sort of how this tool works so i hope this was helpful uh, one last feature this kind of nifty is if I, i'm going to click on crafting clay models from resin um, i like how it takes the time to lay stuff out. It does a pretty good job. Um, but if I wanted to go read this in its original context, you can also pull down and it will load the full content straight up from the site. So now I get like the menu option there. As you can see that in the upper left, it says art. This is a part of my the art series area of my blog. So if I click that, it actually loads the site. And now I can go and find other articles that were, you know, art articles. So if I click blog here, or if I click blog categories, maybe I want to go see what else is going on in design if I miss something. Icons, can they be fun again? So again, it, it kind of integrates nicely with your little browser. And then if I hit the X in the upper left, then I'm going back to that full list of articles. And then you'll notice it kind of grays it out. So that's kind of nice, you know, that it's uh, something you've read. Again, Lifestyle of Learning, I haven't read. Jekyll for the Win, I haven't read. But a little grayed out there on the Crafting Clay Models for Resin Casting. I did read that. And so, again, this is, again, if I've read everything, I could check it all off. So that's how the app works. It's a really nice way to sort of curate your own feed as a feed reader for mobile devices. I like it. Um, thanks for watching.